One kind of funny statement is a tautology. A, a tautology, and we, we usually use T for that, opposed to P or Q or R. We use the symbol T for a tautology. This is a statement that is always true and can never be false. So for instance, consider the statement, that dog is a mammal. Well, that statement's always true. Doesn't matter which dog you're referring to, in the concept of what a dog is, implicitly, is the concept that it is going to be a mammal. That is one of the properties of being a dog. So if I, if I have the statement, that dog is a mammal, it does not matter which dog I'm referring to. So this statement is always true, irregardless of my inputs. So this sort of plays some funny games when it comes to looking at what the truth tables are. So I'm going to imagine that I've got the statement, I want to look at what T or P is, where I've got a tautology T. And a tautology, its truth table is very simple. It's just always true, right? The, the tautology can never be false, so it's just true, 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 true everywhere. And then I also have this other statement, P. P is just a normal old statement here, so it can be true or false. So maybe its first possibility will be true, and its second possibility will be false. And then if I want to take a tautology or some statement, remember, or is true if, if one of the two are going to be true. But the tautology is always true. So it's always the case that one of them is going to be true here. So there's two truths there, which is good enough to give me a true here. There's only one true here, but that's fine. It's an or statement. I only need one of them to be true. So that's going to be true there as well. I can also have contradictions. Contradictions are labeled by a C now for contradiction. And this is a statement that is always false. So this is an example. That dog is a reptile. Again, in the notion of a dog, it is implicit that dogs are mammals and not reptiles. So it can never be true that that dog is a reptile. So this means that in our truth table, whenever I have a C, it is going to be a column of all falsehoods. So here I'm going to have a false, and here I'm going to have a false. And then I've also done a simple example. I'm trying to look at C and P, where P is just some other statement. So let's fill in a couple different possibilities. For P, it could be true, and it could be false. And then if I want to look at my final conclusion, which was C and P, Remember, and requires both of them to be true. But because we have my contradiction always being false, it will never be the case that both of them are true. And so since there's one false there, there's going to be a false there. Since there's a false there, there's going to be false there as well. So when I had an or statement with a, a, a tautology, it forced that to be a tautology. It made it always going to be true. If you, if you took or a tautology, you could just take the value of the tautology would be always true. If you take and a contradiction, then it's just going to make it into its own contradiction, which is going to be all falses. In other words, I can say that, that C and P is a contradiction. It will always be false, as this table I mentioned, and as we saw on the previous slide, if I take T or P, that is always true, and so it is always a tautology.